Hi, I'm Mark Pillsbury, editor at Cruising World Magazine, down here at the United States Sailboat Show in Annapolis, Maryland, with Eric Macklin from Dufour Yachts. Uh, Dufour has a couple of lines of sailboats, the Grand Large, which are more traditional cruising boats, and the Performance line, which we're on right now, the 36 Performance, sort of a racer cruiser or a cruiser racer, depending on how you want to look at it. It's a beautiful looking boat, Eric. Uh, would you be willing to give us a tour around? Absolutely, looking forward to it, Mark. Let's take a look below. Okay. So here we are inside the cabin. Most people really appreciate that it's very open, very spacious, with lots of natural lighting from the on-deck ports and then also a hull port on either side. Up in the forward V-berth, we have a very large berth, and as you can see, the double doors open to make the entire space very open and spacious. There's an opening deck hatch up front that when you're in racing mode is very useful for dousing the spinnaker. And then for your gear storage, you've got nice shelving on either side, as well as a hanging locker and shelf storage. So next I want to show you our nav station, which is a real forward-facing nav station with plenty of desk space for a PC or uh, actual paper chart kit. Uh, you still have space up here for a nice little chart plotter, keep track of things electronically. Uh, basic switch panel here to control all your lights. There's a nice little storage space over here on the side. And of course, you got an opening deck hatch here for a little extra ventilation. And of course, this opens up to store all of your little bits and pieces. You got a nice little tray here for pencils or uh, other small items that you don't want to be rolling around. So next, I'm going to walk you through the galley, which has a nice clean look to it, but is really packed with cool features. This cover area here covers the stove so that if you're not cooking, you can use it as a counter space. You got a nice big ice box in here with some shelving to keep things organized. And then we've got a beautiful stainless steel sink with both fresh water and a separate salt water faucet so that you can pump with your foot and use the salt water instead of your fresh to wash dishes. Now, throughout the galley, there's plenty of storage space. Right here next to the stove, we've got a slot. And then on the outboard side, there are two bins and in the upper cabinets, you've got two separate cabinets for food storage. So back behind the galley on the port side, you've got a really big aft cabin. You can see there's a double berth here with plenty of storage space inside. There's a cabinet with shelving on one side, hanging space on the other, and along the outboard side, there's a long open shelf for plenty of storage space also. In addition to that, there's a deck hatch for ventilation. So the cockpit has a lot of features that work really well whether you're out cruising with the family or racing with your friends. The first thing you'll see back here is this cockpit door. It's got a swim ladder which retracts away so it's not in the way. Then moving forward you'll see these double helm stations. These are great when you're out cruising. You can have super visibility. From there you have the traveler which has easy control right from the side and then of course our removable cockpit boxes which you can keep for cruising or take out for racing. So the cabin top is set up really well. First thing you'll see here is that these halyards all lead back underneath the panel for a nice clean look. These winches are positioned so that you can use it both for the halyards or the spinnaker sheets. And forward of that you've got these really nice handrails which are good for tying down sail bags or holding on in a seaway. So up on the foredeck we've got some other neat things. This furler is a new product from Facnor. It uses a strap instead of a line, so it gives you more twisting power when it's time to furl up a loaded Genoa. And then finally, the retractable sprit pole. On this boat, they've chosen a carbon fiber one, and it looks great. Eric, thanks a lot for the tour of the boat. It looks like a really fun boat to sail. It'd be a lot of fun to race around the buoy some Wednesday night. Uh, can you tell us where to find out some more information? Indeed, it would be fun. www.dufour-yachts.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you out on the water. My pleasure.